Now, in this video, we are going to have a look on the truncate table. Truncate will only remove the data of a particular table, but the structure of the table will still be in the database memory. That simply means the table will be existing there, but all the data would be removed. We can do that with any other type of command like delete as well, which we will cover later. But in that particular scenario, you can roll it back. But as it is a DDL, you cannot roll it back. That is why it is categorized under data definition language as the structure of the database is not getting affected by this particular command but it will affect the metadata because if your table let's say it's uh, having the data of 50 mb and you truncate that particular table data so that particular 50 mb is released and it will change this uh, metadata of that particular database that this particular database has this much of free amount of memory so this will be categorized under DDL. So let's see practically how to work with this truncate table command. And now in the DDL we'll cover one more command here called truncate. For truncate what I'll do is truncate table and then table name. So let's choose a table here called truncate table countries. Alright. So when I will execute this particular command all the data from countries table will be removed. Let me search that first like select asterisk from tbl underscore countries. So here you can see I have three records that is one, two, three, India, USA and UK. So when I'll say truncate table table name, it will remove all the data from this table. So you may think like removing a data from the table will not affect the structure of a database. So why it is placed under the DDL command. True. The reason why it is in DDL because it will remove all the data from the table and along with that it will also clear the memory. That means the data will not be rolled back. I can't undo this particular action and the memory is also getting released. When you will go through the metadata of the database it will simply say like that particular bytes has been modified. Metadata of any database will give you the information about how much availability of memory is there and how much is occupied. If you will delete the data without truncating, the memory will not be released and there will be no change in the metadata as well. But the truncate will modify the memory as well the metadata so the metadata and the inner information of the database will be modified and that is why we have placed this truncate inside the DDL command.